talk about stuff that maybe I'm a little bit nervous about and I hope you guys enjoy. So I got an interesting YouTube comment question from Zedan Shu and she's enjoying the videos and it's a pretty interesting question. It's how did I meet my wife and the romance story. Thought it might be a good time to start to talk about it this morning. Um, you know, I guess I thought I was spinning a little bit about yellow fever because that's also something a lot of people think about with white guys and Chinese girls and um, just want to address that. I remember when I first came to China, I was at a party uh, in Shenzhen and uh, some Chinese guy got offended because I was dancing with a Chinese girl and he kind of like accused me of uh, let's say taking advantage of Chinese girls that like foreigners and I told him I mean I like women everywhere in the world you know I think that that's just uh, you know just because I'm in China there's a lot of Chinese people I mean in New York there's a lot of people from all around the world so that's just what my response to him was and I don't know if you understood it. shy to talk about this and says why would you put this on the internet do you know who's gonna watch this oh all right let me take a seat right here and explain to you so uh, I guess it started I went to an accelerator China accelerator in Dali in China up north and during program And during the program, uh, we were planning a trip to Beijing, and I was working on a Weibo agent, which we renamed later to Social Agent app for uh, helping foreigners in China through sales agents. What we did was uh, use our own tool to find business relationships in Beijing for the trip, and we were messaging people. And uh, Wendy worked in uh, D.CN, a mobile app platform, and we planned to meet there about business and. Had a really great meeting, and she's she's so uh, works at a startup. She was one of our first employees there, and was as really interested to see a foreigner and a foreign team in China doing a mobile app. So she introduced me to a lot of great people, and we really connected well. And she was always so supportive during the accelerator program. But after the three months, I went back down to Shenzhen with the rest of the team in, in Hong Kong, and we stayed in touch. And you know, we we obviously got to know each other more and she moved down so it's uh, there's a lot of course a lot more details but I hope that answers your question just want to say you know she's an amazing person and whether person's Chinese or American or European or from wherever you know I think obviously you gotta look at the person as a as an individual so I'm so happy with her I think this story is, is great you know and just always keep your mind open I definitely didn't expect to meet someone that I would have a long-term marriage with that uh, I, during my startup I was really just working crazy hours in an accelerator so just you never know when things are gonna happen and I'd love to hear in the comments how you guys met your significant others or if you haven't yet what you think you're gonna do to find someone let me know so I'm um, so